thought it would be beneficial for you to actually kind of hear it from the faculty member's perspective. Um, so I'm going to invite uh, Professor Jeff Cohen to come up, uh, another one of our star faculty, uh, just an outstanding teacher, researcher, advisor, and mentor. And he's going to share a little bit um, about um, kind of how he views the, uh, the student experience here at the Barney School and what his role as a faculty member is in trying to help our students develop to their fullest potential. So, Jeff. <clears throat> Thank you, Dean Roth. Um, it's great to be here and to see so many of you today on a beautiful Sunday. Um, just to give you a little bit of background about myself before I go into what's on the slides, um, I've been on the full-time faculty here at the Barney School for the past 13 years. Um, before that, uh, I completed a PhD in economics, so I'm an economist. And um, right after I finished my degree, I was in the private sector for a little while, working for Standard & Poor's. I also had a visiting lectureship at the economics department at Tufts University. And then after, after trying both things, what I really realized was that uh, an academic environment was what I wanted to be in and, and to work with students very closely. Um, and in fact, when I first met you, Dean Roth, um, you said to me, you've been here for a long time, you've worked in industry and in academia, and what is it, <clears throat> what is it about the Barney School that you get excited about when you wake up in the morning and have to come to work? And I smiled and I said, you know, clearly it's the opportunities I have to work closely with students, whether it's uh, to advise students through our advising process and help them with their career decisions, or to work on student projects, which I do in a number of my courses. And, um, and that's really what I think um, my, part of my role in Barney is, is all about. Um, to give you an idea of some, some of the things we do here, we, we all, all faculty have, have a group of students who we advise. Um, and those students are free to come to us at any time to ask any questions about career opportunities, um, or when it comes time to choosing courses for your next semester, they come and meet with us. We have a, a session where we have one-on-one -on -one advising with them. Um, and the students who come to me are usually e economics and finance majors because that's my area. But if you're a management major, you'll have a management professor advising you. If you're an accounting major, you'll have an accounting <coughs> professor advising you. Um, so, so that's one of the nice things is that you, you get close interaction with the faculty here. Um, in terms of some of the things that I do in my courses uh, that provide opportunities to work closely with students on research projects, um, much of my work focuses around the social responsibility aspects of Barney's mission. So as Dean Roth mentioned, we prepare leaders and decision makers to be socially, globally aware and socially responsible. Um, and um, so you know, I teach a course in environmental economics um, where we, we learn how the best way to treat the environment is um, from an economics perspective. Um, I also teach a course that was a special topics that I created myself uh, that I believe very few places offer a similar course. It's called The Economics of Drugs, Smoking, and Alcohol. And I tell my students there are no field trips, there's no field work in this class, but, um, but it's a good opportunity to, to learn something in terms of the economic perspective about something that's a very big issue for college-age students as well as adults in general. And in, in these courses, um, I always have my students write a, a, a research paper. And I work very closely with the students on this research paper. And usually it's on a topic that they choose on their own, depending on what their interests are. Um, and there are a couple of examples of of students who I've worked on research papers with where we've actually gotten the papers published. The first one I co-authored with a student named Kiku Ichihara, who was one of our star students uh, as an undergraduate. And she decided to go on and get her MBA here at the University of Hartford. And she loved it so much that now she's got a very good position here in the university in the financial accounting office. She decided she doesn't want to leave the university. Um, so we wrote a paper together based on uh, some earlier work that she did in a class project looking at the impact of green roofs on rental pricing. So green roofs essentially um, are, if you have apartment buildings in New York City, you might see a lot of them for instance. They're roofs that have gardens in, on, the, on the roofs. And so when it rains, it, the water gets absorbed into the, into the vegetation in the garden instead of running down into the sewer systems 
and going into the, the sewer where the water has to be treated and pumped and stored. What we found was that this type of uh, rain garden on buildings in New York City ha has a significant impact on the rental value of properties in New York City. So those properties actually rented for a lot more if they had a green roof than in buildings that didn't have a green roof. Um, and that was published in, uh, in an academic journal and there are policy makers in the US Environmental Protection Agency and in environmental consulting firms that use this paper. And in fact, last week I got a, a request for a copy of this paper from someone in South America working for a think tank who, who wants to try and implement this, this idea. Um, another uh, example of a student is uh, Kevin Bannock, who wrote a paper in my environmental economics class looking at the impact of being near wetlands uh, on housing prices. So you might think if any of you live near wetlands, you know you can't build on that property. So one of the nice things is that you're going to have you know, no, no apartment buildings or shopping malls cropping up in your backyard. So that's one of the benefits. You might think that might make your house worth more. On the other hand, if you decide you want to build an extension on your house or build an addition, you can't easily do it. You might have to go through a special permitting process, have a hearing with your town. So we, we did an analysis where we tried to assess the impacts of being near wetlands um, on housing prices. Does it make your house worth more because of the fact that you don't have more development or does it make it worth less because it makes it harder for you to develop? And what we found was uh, what the typical answer you might get from an economist um, is that it depends. Um, so um, that, that paper is being published. It's forthcoming in, a, in an academic journal as well and I expect it to be used quite a bit by policymakers. Uh, finally, I'm also involved with students in another context relating to um, social responsibility, and that has to do with community engagement. We have an organization here on campus called Upper Albany Main Street, which is an organization that works with small businesses in the Upper Albany neighborhood of downtown Hartford, which is just a adjacent to part of our campus. And we, we have, what we do is we have students take a course, and in that course, it's called Small Business Practicum, and the students uh, learn how to write a business plan. They learn how to do a marketing plan. They learn how to build a website. And then they go in and help the small businesses doing all these different types of things that the small businesses wouldn't have been able to afford to do on their own otherwise. We've created um, hundreds of jobs uh, in, in this community over the last 13 years because of this program. We've created over a million dollars in economic activity because of this program. Um, and students find it invaluable to have entrepreneurial act, uh, opportunities to get experience working with small businesses uh, as an undergraduate. And, and so I, I personally enjoy working in this organization as well as a part of my work for the university and for the Barney School. So I hope this gives you some flavor of some of the work that I do with students and um, the, the aspects of social responsibility that some of us focus on here in the Barney School. Um, Good luck in your decision making. If you have any questions, you can feel free to contact me either now or later on. You can look me up on the Barney website. And I uh, wish you all the best. Thank you.